I mean, it had the rhythm. Keep going. I miss the rain down in Africa. Right? Okay, everybody, it's The Beer's Gone Bad, where the beer flows like wine. This is Pat, this is Scott. I apparently am hosting the first segment of this, and I'm Matt. That rhymes. That rhymes. So classic, dude. We are hanging tonight. We're doing a beer all the way from the East Coast. Hey, Sue. All the way from the East Coast. Space. We were sent this beer by our friend, Katie LaFollette. She's living in Newport, Rhode Island, and I said, Katie, for my birthday, what? Send me something from the East Coast, something that I would not have had before. And she sent me Newport Storm number 11 from Coastal Extreme Brewing Company. Boom! I did. Spread it on. Boom! <laughs> yeah, so this thing, it looks like a bunch of guys from college started this thing. So sick to be here. Dude, my bulber's <laughs> awesome, huh? It's got like a mouth to it. Scott, cut that wax. Oh, cut. Hope you find your dad. Hey. <laughs> That's an elf reference, dude. For those of you who are not. Oh, I'm just a track shark at Narwhal. Are you trying to corkscrew at the top? I'm, I got it, dude. Got it. Your thumb, like. Alright. I think so. I got it. Go ahead and name one other drink that comes with a wax rim like that. Wine. Another oh, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark. Oh, wow. Anything else? Uh, I'm pretty sure in Robin Hood there was like that stamp, you know, like for the letters, like you like burn it in the thing and you. It's got sabre. Sabre. Oh, do we need a do we need a wine opener? Oh, we might. We probably do. Ooh. All right, right, take it easy, guy, Matt. Take that uh, knife away from let me, him. Let me go ahead and take. We're it fine. Away. We're fine. We're oh, fine. Jesus. Yeah, we do need a. We do need a. Uh, <laughs> yes, we need a wine opener. We need a wine opener. I've apparently cut my finger really bad. I think you killed it. Good. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you use a mustache opener? Wow. Let's open this thing up. This, Scott, what's the ABV on the front of that? Will you look at it real quick? Uh, on the front. The ABV in this thing, I think it's like something like 11%. 11.7, dude. The bottle costs twelve ninety nine, dude. This thing is looking good. Pilsner, too. 12% Pilsner. Right through it. Hence the glasses tonight. I used something. I was trying to find a tall, fluty kind of glass for the Pilsner tonight. But this is what we're dealing with. Jesus Christ, dude. That's awkward. <laughs> so, well. <laughs> so, light that? <laughs> Not mine. Okay. Um, okay. Kill those fires that you grab that point up. Scott, let me see that thing. Get out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. We're on a time limit. All right. We'll do it. Then go for it, Pat. All right. Get that thing out of there. That's right. No, November's over. <laughs> so anyways, um, this beer is from the East Coast. And yeah, it's from, I, I think it's from Newport, actually. Oh, so not even the East Coast. Oh, it's a bottle conditioned. There's a Pilsner, too. I, I mean, that's what, to me, what sounds rad. It's from Rhode Island, right? Newport, right on. Wait, it's not Pilsner, is it? Just open the beer. You know what, coming from the guy who broke the first one? I didn't break it, it's not my fault, dude. No, totally, it's never your fault. How's that? If you would've given me a proper wine key. That's not a Pilsner, I take that back. I think that word in Old English script on the back was actually partner <laughs> that I was looking at. The blue, uh, oh. the blue glass is kind of deceiving. Cobalt. In a lot of ways. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Now, what's your favorite kind of beer? Like, what what do you go to? Like, what's your go-to when you go to the liquor store? I'm an IPA guy. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, I really do. I really do enjoy them. I mean, I didn't know at first that that's the way it was going to be. Came, but the gate came right off. I've really grown to love just, the I, the P, the I'm A. Glad you what about it? Is it like the hoppy flavors to yeah, it? Is it like the just, unique like yeah, the kick bite. in the mouth kind of flavor? All that, all the above. Scott, what's, what's your go-to? What's your go-to flavor? What do you like? Um, I like malt, Pat. <clears throat> I'm okay with everything, but I, I'm, I'm probably gonna say hops. I'm more proud. What, what's hops. your country music of that group? Like, what do you not listen to? No, I listen to country music. No, I get it. I'm saying that as a cliche. Like, it, what do you not? Be, what do you not for like? For me, it would be my reggae of the group. What's your reggae of the group? What beer do you not enjoy? Um, God, I don't know, dude. I kind of like them all. Sours. 
You know it would have to be sours, thank you. Yeah, it, for a while it was uh, it was the yeasty beers, but I, I've come to really like the Belgians and the yeast and uh, yeast? sours are a little uh, they're a little a little a little much to love. A little sour. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing on the color scale. Let's look at this real quick. Yeah, this guy on a oh, pardon me <laughs> on a one Bud Light ten Rasputin scale. This guy's gonna come in in a straight Tootsie Roll for me. On the flavor, on the color, like this is gonna be straight Divina D'Amico. Yeah, this is gonna come in at about a five and a half, six. Yeah, it's look at dark, six. but I mean, look at that color. It looks just like a Tootsie Roll. It's dense. It's thin. I've got it's a lot opaque. of uh, it's completely opaque. Foamy but it's head not on this. Black. Yeah, there's no passion fruit in this one. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That was a reference to the last beer view I was part of. Totally. Passion fruit. Totes. Tootsie me goes. Link below. Check it out. There's a uh, quite a head on this beer. Yeah. Tight, tight. Smells well. good though. Probably go ahead and Smells kind of caramely. Yeah, definitely. Caramel. This thing's actually pretty sick. I got this from uh, <laughs> Luckin, 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 the Regal Beagle. What are you we, getting? They had the. Passion fruit? Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is passion fruit. <laughs> oh, I'm getting what is passion it? fruit. Now this is gonna take an abstract mind. I'm Bless. drinking it. I'm not listening while you drink. Acrylics. You know like when you order like Domino's pizza and it's like a Hawaiian flavored pizza, but let's say you don't add the ham, it's just the pineapple and the cheese. Okay. It's a little bit of pineapple in there. A little bit. Dude, I like the fact that you just named it a pineapple Domino's pizza sans whatever it was. Sans ham. ham. Yeah. Sans ham. The Newport Pineapple Storm that. Express. I, you guys gotta respect, I've never seen a beer in a cobalt blue glass. Have you? No, I haven't. This is kinda cool. No, it's awesome. Are we ready to jump? Have you tasted? Kitty laugh. Thank you very much for saying this for my birthday. Seriously, awesome. Awesome. Cheers awesome. to you. I like it too. I'd read the back if it wasn't in old English because I can't understand the script on back. Hey, you know there. what? Happy New Year's, everybody. Thanks, too, by the way. Happy New Year's. Gotta throw that one out there. Yeah. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Cheers. It's New Year's Eve. Tonight's gonna get good. Thirty first. I'm a little nervous. Don't be. It's actually really tasty. All right, let's do it. According to Matt's description, being a Hawaiian pizza, well, Sam's it doesn't ham. taste anything like that. But it does. It does Dude, I'm getting like a really like toffee, yeah. Yeah, caramel fully, flavor. Fully, fully, definitely like a toffee. I'm surprised how thick the head is on this thing. <laughs> Such like the old man coffee drink, like the old man, the old man beer drink. He's all. Do you have any toffee? Do you have any Werther's in your purse? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's like it's like peanut brittle in a glass. It's tasty though. I mean, like. I, God, can you can you think of the last beer we had that had a big bubbly head like this before? No. You know <laughs> what it reminds me of? Like this ever? You know what the smile reminds me of? Sorry. This it sounds terrible, but it's a really sorry. Just it's, embrace it. It's a really good beer. I really enjoy it. But it kind of reminds me of the smell when you first paint your house, like when you're painting your house. You know, like you go to Home Depot and you you, you paint, you get the that primer, primer yeah. smell. I yeah. think Scott's trying to one up my uh, abstract. He's taking your, your your pineapple I'm pizza. I'm not. And I'm not. It. It, do, it it doesn't smell like a pineapple pizza to me. I wasn't gonna say that right away because I was you know. That's I'm gonna try to think of something more obscure than all two of you. So. You know the smell like when the shuttle launches from <laughs> you know Cape Canaveral. Yeah, you know when <laughs> we when they do the fireworks the Baywatch display. You know when like you're in like Disneyland and you're in parts of the Caribbean and there's that musty smell. Dude, tell me that doesn't smell like you're about to paint your house. You taped it. Okay, blue you take, blue take, tape. A, take a taste of it though. As you swallow it, you got like a, like the alcohol actually really, it actually really kind of comes across as you swallow it though. It does come across. It's kind of crazy though. This thing, I mean at 9%, or actually this is 11.7, isn't it? 11.7. 7. It reminds me of when I painted my room, dude. I'm sorry, but I painted it, I tried to paint it gray and it turned out periwinkle blue. And everyone's like, why do you have a purple room? It's not purple. By room, do you mean Ford Ranger 97? No. no. <laughs> By beach house, do you mean Ford <laughs> Ranger with an aftermarket buffer? New Nobbies. This thing... Nobbies well, let's get serious for a second. Oh, right. yeah. At 11.7, this is coming in straight under... Um, straight up. Speed waste out. No, but as a difference kind of alcohol like content, like you can take out, you can really Dude. taste alcohol in this, but you can't taste it in Speedway as much. Yeah, you. I see they're different beers. I, I I'm confused. I don't even know what this is. Well, I mean, what kind really? of beer would you put this at? I don't know. That's weird. Want? I don't know. It is kind of old English, isn't it? I'm gonna say ale. To love me forever. This is kind of good. Laugh. Good job. Yeah. Annual call. 
I'm glad I got to use this glass. I'm never going to use this glass ever again. It's the Hublon Schuf glass that Scott and I did the review. We had to throw away because our beer exploded and we were too drunk to do it. Mm. I mean, Matt, coming beer. from an IPA background, what do you yeah. what do you think of this beer? Nipa. Honestly, I think it's a little it's a little too sweet for me. Where do you see yourself drinking this? I don't, and that's the thing. Is it like it, <laughs> it's the opposite of like what I kind of like, which is like that bitier kind of bitter. Just kind of like straight up, like I'm gonna drink it, and then it kind of like checks you. Well, I just I like that traditional feel to like a regular beer, and this is like very sweet and kind of. I liked it, man. Maybe like a port type thing. This is almost like if you crush like dates, like prunes it even. It's like a pruny kind of thing going on here. It's sweet. Yeah, it's definitely very sweet. I like it though. I thought it was Scott, good. what about you? Where are you gonna drink this, and what are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it an eight. I thought it was an awesome beer. Um, I <laughs> it was really really good. I like the consistency of the beer, I like the way it felt, I like the way it tasted, and I would drink it anywhere. How about that one? I definitely wouldn't drink, it's actually not really a bar drink, it's more of like an evening drink. It's like a, if you're gonna get a 22 or you're gonna like, hey, you guys want a couple beers, that's a great beer for it. Um, but it was awesome. By the way. I'm gonna too, I'm gonna take this guy down at an eight, this guy, at an eight, a seven five. Like this thing, this is a really tasty beer. It's a little sweet. It wasn't what I was expecting from this, but as an after dinner drink, it, something in lieu of a port or some kind of after dinner it, liqueur, like this would like, be a great alternative. It's not overly sweet though, like like the the Samuel Smith strawberry ale. It's not sweet like that. It's not a fruity sweet. It's a sweet like a caramel sweet. It's like a caramel sweet, sweet yeah. yeah. And it's and that that I think is is awesome, and I think it complements the beer all. Like, and to that, that overall great. good score. Way to go, Newport. By the way, Newport Storm Eleven. For the record. Throughout the review, when we were all talking, I got one full line from the Apollo Jewel song in. Yeah, I know you were like peppering it in the whole time. I was just you ignoring it. it. Yeah, oh. straight up. Um, no, tell me because you really want to love me forever. I thought I was yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't oh, get oh. the oh. oh, oh, oh. For both of us, I'm Pat. Oh, oh, oh. This is Scott. Not Matt. This is the beer's gone bad, guys. It's it's the where the beer flows like wine. Thank you, Scott. Um, until next time, we'll see you then. Peace to you.